Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield Ranked Battles. We are hopping right into this, and oh my goodness. Right away, I've seen a Cinescorch, and I haven't seen a Cinescorch in a while. We'll also see, what is that, Indeedee or whatever. This And a Hatterene. This looks like it's a Trick Room team. Uh, we're going to lead Corviknight. He's my favorite to go against Trick Room teams, and even though they do have that Cinescorch, I can still just use um, Brave Bird on that. And then the Rotomosh is definitely terrifying, so we'll play it. I want to put Wins Macaw first or Gastrodon first. I definitely want both of them on the team. Let's do... Let's do Gastrodon first. Because he gets countered by, like, nothing on their team. So we'll do Gastrodon first. Wins Macaw in the back. And then... Dragapult in the back? Ah, uh, no, not Dragapult. What does he do on this team? He, does, he doesn't do much, right? We can do... Uh, I mean, he, yeah, I guess he does fine. He just doesn't do well against the two fairy. Oh, no, one, only one fairy, right? Because this isn't DD just a psychic type only, not not a fairy type. I'm pretty sure on that. We'll double check it, though, if they even bring it out. So we'll see if they go for this Trick Room team or not. And if they do, we're going to do the classic Corviknight. You know, you guys know me. We're going to go for bulk ups. That's how we roll. Get some sword and shield going on today, baby. Get some sword and shield going on guys how have you guys been liking the 1080p 60 fps videos i mean i i like doing them okay now here's the deal is this indeed what is he gonna what does this team do is run watch gonna have psychic seeds that feel got weird oh the indeed has the psychic seeds okay so that looks like a very offensive Offensive Indeedy. I need to switch Corviknight out pretty much right away here. Mm, I really wish I would have led Dragapult and Winsman Cot here. <laughs> uh, let's go into Winsman Cot. We can set up a Sunny Day and a Tailwind. Let's definitely do Winsman Cot here. Switch that slot out. And then we will... We can't Earth Power the Rotom. He has Levitate. Because that is just on the Rotom, right? Yeah, so for you, we'll just go for a Scald onto the Ndidi. Actually, I kind of want to switch him out, too. I'm not going to. I kind of want to switch out the Gastrodon, too, for the Dragapult. But we'll see. Let's get the Sunny Day up first. The reason I want to get the Sunny Day up first because my Dragapult has Solar Beam. He's going to Thunderbolt, obviously, into the Corviknight slot. You have to do that. Don't paralyze me. Thank you. Oh, Life Orbs. And he's going to go for a Psychic. Into this Gastrodon slot. Gastrodon is, does not have the best special defense. He's got... I mean, his defense is way higher than his special defense. Please get a burn. I mean, I know that he's a special attacker, but still, I want the burn. So now here's the deal. Do we go for a Sunny Day first or a Tailwind first? I kind of want to go for a Sunny Day first. Because Winsmacott's for sure going first. No matter what. And Gastrodon is not going to go first no matter what. So this, we're definitely going to go for the Sunny Day first. Have this Rotom be able to do way less damage. And then we'll just do a recover on Gastro. Just to see if they if they goes for another psychic into this Gastrodon slot or not. Let's just play this one out. Let's just see what happens here. So we get a sunny day up. Now when my Dragon Pool comes out, he can be able to Solar Beam. And also this Rotom Wash won't be able to do much. Now obviously if they have the Sinner Scorch though, that is scary. I was gonna go for the Shadow Ball. I live that though. I live that like a champion. So now. Ooh, Calm Mine. That is that's terrifying. That is terrifying. Okay, your special attack and your special defense are now rising. This is definitely terrifying for me. Um, here's what we do. Uh, Giga Drain is not going to give us enough health back. I don't think. I feel like we should tail. Nah, I feel like tail one's still not that useful. So let's go for that. And then we're going to switch Gastrodon out for Dragapult. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Because he's not going to... He's going to go for a Shadow Boss slide to the Ones of again. So let's get a Giga Drain. Or, yeah, Giga Drain. I should definitely still be out speeding. I don't outspeed. I really thought Ones of would outspeed here. Okay. 
What really sucks now is the fact that this Rotom has ally switch is terrifying because now I don't know if I'm even going to be able to hit. Ooh, this is not looking good. This doesn't look good for me at not even a little bit. Because gosh, you're not... Ooh. I feel like I need to put in a Corviknight to kind of bait out the Thunderbolt. I feel like I have to do that. I can just um, Dynamax Max Airstream. Yeah, no, dude. Corviknight gets beat up here, doesn't he? He gets beat up pretty good here. We're going to go into the Gastrodon because, like, what is what can he do to my Gastrodon? You know, he... I can just keep recovering on him. Yeah, crap, dude. I don't want to send out the Corviknight as, like, a bait. Here's the thing that sucks is the stupid ally switch. So, can't even Ice Beam either. Yeah, me and Sunny didn't really hurt me. So... Ooh. We'll go for the Ice Beam on a DD. Just what else am I going to do? And then we are going to go for a Solar Beam into this Rotom Wash slot. Is this, do you think he's going to expect me having a Solar Beam? There's no way, right? Okay, he, can, he doesn't. Good. So I'm going to hit the Solar Beam. This should do some big damage. Some big, big damage here. I like having the Solar Beam Dragon Pole. Special Attack Dragon Pole. No one expects it. Yes, the knockout. Okay. I was hoping it was going to be a knockout, but I, I wasn't confident. I wasn't 100% sure. So that's really good. He's going to sidekick into the Gastrodon slot again. That is just A-OK. -okay. Oh, not really. That is half my health. That is way more than I thought I was going to do. So that is definitely scary. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what we got. I feel like in the Gastrodon slot, we just have to like... Okay, this is easy. Now we can just fire Max Flare. Over here. Yeah, dude, poor Gashadon. I mean, he just he just gets beat up by this. I'm just gonna go for recover. Just if he lives, I want to keep him alive. I don't want to lose too many mods if I don't have to. And then we're just gonna try to knock out everything around this Ndidi. And then we'll just worry about the Ndidi. I really wish I would have knocked out the Ndidi a long time ago. I mean, now that it's now that it's really setting up. I still feel like I can win this though, especially this max flare should knock out the Corviknight. Corviknight is really bulky in his physical defense. Um, this is going to be a special attack move with Sunny Day. And it's Max Flare. I feel like this should definitely be a knockout. And I am trained in special attack for Dragapult. This should easily be a knockout. Okay, absolutely is. So now we are going to be in a 2v3. I really, really hope Gastrodon survives this turn. But he's going to go for the Gastrodon and not the Dragapult. So, Gastrodon's definitely not surviving this turn, which really sucks. I wanted Gastrodon to live that. Okay, so Psychic is gone. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, he had the stupid Psychic Seeds. Now, here's my question, what I don't know. Now that Psychic is gone, does Psychic Seeds still hold true? I'm sure it does. And he does have the Sinuscorch for my Corviknight. That is a big yikes. I don't know why he would even send out Corviknight at all there. I guess he just assumed my Dragon Pole didn't have a fire move. I don't know what he was thinking there. So now what we want to do, which one of these lowers? So this will lower defense. And this lowers attack. So I think I need to go for the lower defense. Oh, crap. That is a dark or ghost movement. He's like, so I just got to go for max flares on this Ndidi. And then Brave Bird, the Sinuscorch. Corviknight is not going to be going first. No doubt. So who does he hit? Does he... Does he hit the Ndidi because it's boosted, or does he have a G-Max Cinescorch? He has a... Oh, he has Cinescorch, but is it G-Max? Honestly, don't even know how to tell. No, I don't think it is, because I think the G-Max version has, like, way more, like, art to it. So, Brave Bird is going to still do some damage here, but not enough. And he's probably going to Max Flare into my Corviknight slot. This should not do anything, yikes. Okay, Psychic onto my... Okay, I have Assault Vest, Dragapult. Dude, my Dragapult ate that. Okay, not gonna eat this. Oh, he eats that. He... Dude, yes. Dragapult, yes, dude. You're a beast. And I knocked down your special defense. Oh, I wish I would've knocked down the Ndidi special defense. Dang it. That's okay, though. That is A-OK. -okay. Brave Bird, not doing as much as I wanted to, but of course, that's because he is... Dynamax, but I just got burned which That's a huge 
huge yikes for me. What is this? Oh, we just had a little glitch. Okay. A little lag. So, if I just go for another max flare on this in DD, what happens there? That, another max flare has to knock out the NDD, right? It has to. It's still sunny. It's still drought right now, right? Oh, it's not. Oh, crap. The sun just went away. It just now went away. Okay, that's not as good. Um, I don't have a speed, though, with Corviknight at all. So I have to just go for a Brave Bird. I can't Roost. Roost isn't going to do anything for me. I have to just go for the Brave Bird here and then just hope that a max... Let's just go for the Dragon move. I don't know why. Well, no, no, no. I'm glad I went for the Dragon move, not the Max Flare. Because the Sun's not out anymore. I don't want to set up another Sun for his Cinescorch. That does not quite do it. Which sucks. It lowers their attack, but I'm pretty sure they're both using special attacks. I just didn't want to set up the Sun again. Oh. Man, I really wish that NDD went down. Because I feel like my Corviknight could do well against the Cinescorch by himself. I could I could Roost. Oh, I, I do have speed the Cinescorch. So I should have been... Iron heading the Cinescorch, I guess. Use a Citrus Berry. You're going to do Centiferno. This is going to for sure kill me. I lose. Dang it. All right. Well, guys. Guys, I... I feel like I lost that game just, like, purely on the fact that I brought a Gastrodon. And then, like... I should not have set up Sunny Day. I should have just went... Instead of setting up Sunny Day, I should have set up Tailwind. And then I should have just went for Giga Drains on the Rotom Wash. Because I set up Sunny Day... Well, Sunny Day wasn't that bad of a move. I set up Sunny Day so Solar Beam would be a one-turn hit, you know? But that really hurt my Gastrodon heavily. You know, Scald was basically rendered useless. Ice Beam, I'm pretty sure, can't freeze in a Sunny Day. And then, you know, obviously Earth Power doesn't do anything against the Rotom. Uh, I let that NDD live for far too long. You know, he got special defense boosted. I still want to upload this, though, because, like I said before, I still want to upload my losses so I can, like, show them to you guys. That was also pretty close for as bad, poorly as I played that. And it was pretty close. I definitely should have won that one. But otherwise, thank you guys for stopping by the video. Please leave a comment down below on if you think Sunny Day was... A worth it move and i just got unfortunate there or if i was really dumb and uh, i should have just went for that in dd right away like i didn't but otherwise thank you guys for stopping by and i'll see you guys later